Sometimes in gaming, the difference between victory and defeat boils down to how quickly you can press the buttons on the controller. I remember the days of tiring myself out button mashing through games like Pro Wrestling or Track and Field 2 on the NES. Having a controller with rapid fire or turbo buttons made things much easier. During the NES era, you had to purchase separate controllers like the NES Max or Advantage to make use of this feature. When the TurboGrafx-16 came out in North America, turbo buttons on the controller via the use of switches became the standard on that console. It should be noted that the PC Engine controllers originally lacked this feature. Turbo switches were added to later revisions of the controller. In this video, we will take a look at 5 TurboGrafx and PC Engine games that take advantage of the turbo switches. The first game on this list was certainly designed with the turbo buttons in mind, and that is Bonk's Adventure. This game is noted for the main character Bonk using his head to attack enemies. Bonk has other abilities as well, many of which take advantage of the turbo buttons. Bonk can do a spin jump which is useful in jumping over long distances to avoid hazards like lava, tar pits, or quicksand, and to reach platforms that are not possible to land on with a normal jump. The spin jump is also useful in defeating enemies, especially the bosses. When you spin jump on top of an enemy, Bonk will bounce off the enemy and you can continue the spin jump to land additional hits. When an enemy is defeated, you can use the spin jump to continuously juggle the enemy in the air. Each hit grants additional points, starting at 50 points a hit up to 1000. In total, you can earn up to 8950 bonus points by spin attacking defeated enemies, which is beneficial in earning extra lives. In some areas, you can trap an enemy with a spin jump on the ceiling to speed up the process. Bonk can climb walls using his teeth and swim upwards along waterfalls by using button 1. Bonk climbs and swims up waterfalls rapidly if you use the turbo switch on button 1. Here's a quick comparison and a difference in speed if you use and don't use the turbo switch. Aside from navigating through each level, there are bonus stages where Bonk has to climb a wall and spin jump to earn bonus points which leads to earning extra lives. The next game we will look at is Vigilante, in which the titular named character has to punch and kick his way through the streets of New York City to rescue his girlfriend Madonna who was kidnapped by the skinheads. The gameplay is reminiscent of Kung Fu Master as both games were developed by Irem. You fight along one plane while you attack enemies that approach you from both sides with punches and kicks. The basic thugs will approach you quickly and in great numbers so you have to be quick with the buttons and the D-pad in order to defeat them. By using the turbo switches for both buttons since one is for punches and the other for kicks, you can attack swiftly and change your direction of attack while holding down the attack buttons while not putting yourself in danger of being grabbed or attacked by the enemy. Picking up the nunchakus puts you at a great advantage which can make the levels a breeze. Next up is another game from Irem and that is Ninja Spirit. You have to avenge the death of your murdered father by battling your way through hordes of ninjas, wolves, monks, and demons. The enemies will appear in all directions and many of them will hurl projectiles at you. To counter you have four kinds of weapons at your disposal. The sword, throwing stars, bombs, and a chain and sickle. Each of these weapons can be upgraded for extra attack power and you can gain up to two spirits to fight alongside you. Enemies regenerate so you need to move quickly in each stage. You have to attack in all directions with the utmost speed, so using the turbo switches helps. Weapons are swung and hurled at a much faster rate with the turbo switches on, especially when their attack power is increased, allowing you to dispose of enemies and bosses rather quickly. Keep in mind that throwing weapons are ineffective against projectiles, so you need to know which weapons to use in each situation. The next title is an odd pick, and that is Exile on the TurboGrafx CD. Exile is an action RPG that follows the adventures of Sadler in his attempt to unify the world under one god. In the side-scrolling action scenes, you have to defeat enemies to gain experience points to raise levels. Early on, with Sadler's limited attack power, enemies require multiple hits to be defeated. Some of the faster moving enemies can continue to approach Sadler after being hit. You need to press the attack button rapidly to defeat them before they hit Sadler. If you hold down the attack button with the turbo switches on, he can defeat enemies with ease. Enemies regenerate once they are defeated. There are certain spots in the first area where they can regenerate quickly. When you find these spots, you can sit back and raise levels without breaking a sweat, but do you really want to sit there and watch? 
it does get boring after a while so what I used to do back in the days was strap a rubber band to the button on the controller so Sadler can attack automatically and I would turn away and do other things while my character levels up. It takes about an hour for Sadler to max out on levels. At this point, he'll also have a substantial amount of gold to buy all of the most expensive sword, shields, and armor. With Sadler's boosted attack power, he can defeat some of the early bosses with just one hit. The last game on this list is also an unusual pick, and that is Art of Fighting on the PC Engine Arcade CD. Unlike any of the other picks on this list, the benefit of using the turbo switches are not during the main gameplay itself, but in the bonus stages. Art of Fighting was noted for its bonus games in that they offered substantial rewards for successfully completing them. You can earn bonuses like an increase to your maximum health, an increase to your spirit meter so you can perform more special moves, and the use of a super move which was a first during its time. If you select the bonus game where you destroy the ice pillars, you can increase your maximum health. In order to complete this stage, you have to rapidly press button 1 to increase the strength meter to maximum power before the time limit expires. The bonus game can be completed more than once. The first time around it's not too difficult to complete, but the second and third time around it's tough because the meter fills up slower so using the turbo switch on button 1 allows you to increase the strength meter to maximum power in very little time. Having your health meter maxed out gives you a better shot at defeating Mr. Big and Mr. Karate. They both do tremendous damage, so victory is not guaranteed, but at least your chances of winning improves. As an added bonus, here are two games where using the turbo switches can hurt you, and that is Alien Crush and Devil's Crush. In each game, pressing button 2 nudges the playing field to manipulate the movement of the ball. It comes in handy if you feel the ball will fall through paths that will take it to the bottom of the table. If you turn on the turbo switch for button 2 and hold on to it for too long, the table will tilt and the flippers will cease to function, causing the ball to fall to the bottom and result in a lost ball. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, thanks for watching.